Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Today is Friday, it's the beginning of Thanksgiving weekend here in Canada, and we have a lot of plans. But more importantly, I have other plans coming up soon. You guys know, next week we get our truck. We, get, we are a truck owning family again next week. But before we start today's vlog, if you watched yesterday's video, you will know that I tried to show you guys how excited the chickens get when they see me. And it didn't work out because the dogs followed me outside. So today, we're going to redo that and see if the chickens freak out when they see me. Okay. Well, there was no jumping. Help, help, they say. She's here. <laughs> Hello, little chickens. <laughs> you excited to see me? Get in there. Get in. I brought them some treats. Oh, you get in there. Get in. Get in. Get in. Oh, no, you little sneaky. Ugh. She just does what she wants. She does her own thing. She doesn't care about me <laughs> or what I want. She just snuck right out. And then all the chickens are mad because they want to go out. Look. Here. There we go. This one's still looking. She's like, oh, I will go. They all want to go out. When you stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. We tore down my wall. I keep this little fence around the chicken coop because sometimes they push the door right open. I don't know if you guys can see it. They push the door open. I'll be in there with them and then they just push the door open behind me. Anyways, welcome to today. We have something super fun planned for today to start off our Thanksgiving weekend. I'm so excited it's Friday. Even though every day is the same for us, but I am so excited it's Friday. But right now, the girls and I are getting getting the house in order. We're getting all things set up for our busy weekend. What are you doing? I'm going to hide. <laughs> I'm going to hide somewhere. This, this, is, <laughs> this is what Sam does ever since I've been married to him. When I start cleaning, he goes to get coffee. I'll go to the grocery store, he says. Yeah, I'll go to the store. <laughs> And what are you doing? Going to hide with them. Do you know what room you need to clean? Living room. Living room and underneath this table here. Um, but you guys, Sophie has been practicing and practicing her makeup and doing the I best. Took it off. You took it off today? Yeah. It wow. still looks good though. Yeah. I know. So I off, though. you have like impeccable skin. My face was like no zits, no nothing. Well, there's yeah, but I mean she still has really good skin. I had always really good skin when I was growing up too. You got you got my skin. Here I want to show you Chino's salt lick. He loves his salt lick. And that's it. And that was brand new. That's brand new salt lick. It's almost down to nothing. I think they should make this is kind of gross now. This was a plastic coated coated salt lick hanger and I guess with all the licking it looks like gross. We should have a better design. Maybe a bit bigger salt lick in a, in a stall. So the horses are almost ready to come in and Gabby finally showed up to help with Chino stall. Yeah. All right, after I did all the work. Good job. I had to get a whole load of new shavings. And like I said before, these ones were uh, six dollars, six fifty a bag, which is pretty cheap. Something else that came down. Because the other one was nine dollars a bag. Remember nine dollars a bag? This six fifty a bag. Wow. Something yeah. came down too. Where is she? She's coming down. I know. We gotta put the horses in. She doesn't want to clean. Oh, <laughs> hide it. The problem is, I tell everybody my secret. I go hide while yeah, the cleaning gets done. Down here. Too. No, there's Wi-Fi down here. I am like excited. I'm gonna get a TV down here. Okay. I'm gonna get a couch. I'm gonna put a fireplace. I'm gonna have like a little man cave down at the barn in the tack room. <coughs> in the tack room. Or I can get rid of all my stuff in the other room and turn that into a, a that hidden room that nobody would even know. 
Here, no one room. even know that I would have that room and I could have it all set up for myself. <laughs> Where'd Dad go? He's down at the barn working. You could have your cot in there. He's working at the barn. You could have your cot in there. I could have my cot in there. Okay. Alright, it's time to put the ponies in and we'll see how quickly they come in. They're funny. I should uh, show you at night. They come running at night when it gets dark because they like, oh my gosh, I need to come in. They're like, I need to come in, it's too dark. Holy oh, jeez, settle down there, Gracie. <laughs> Chino! Chino! Where are you? Hi, Willow. I got the gate. I think that's a good idea. I think every time at lunchtime and dinner time I'll ring a bell and eventually they'll know that it's time to come in. I'm gonna try that. I mean it's just a matter of time where they associate the bell with coming in so they'll either run away or they'll come in. Did you see I ruined your fun? Did I ruin your fun? I'll put you out early this morning. I'll put you out early. Oh I hear Chino. I hear Chino and I hear the hundring thundering hooves. He's like, where'd everybody go? I'm coming. Come on. Oh, he went to Gabby. Stayed there for Gabby. Again, again, again. Strangers again, again, again. Like strangers again, again, again. I just know things will never be I know, because we are in the field and we are going. Ah, no excuse, Gabby, no excuse. Thanks. Nice of you to show up, Sophie. Molly. I did show up. <laughs> I know, you're here. <laughs> hey, girl, I'll be in the barn. I gotta clean it up. But there's poop everywhere. See you in an hour. All right, explain to the people of the internet what's happening with your face. Did I not get it off? <laughs> For the second day in a row. Well, it's hard to get off. <laughs> so what are you doing? Face masks. Face masks, and she keeps not being able to Stop. get it all off. All right, now look, look away, you guys. Banging, Were you on. banging on the door trying to scare the heck out of, out of us? We ran, we ran. So here is a quick view of our recovering field. This is this field fed our three horses all summer for four or five months. Like, that's amazing. Okay, so uh, you guys know, I told you guys yesterday that we have been like on this journey to see what our horses love, what they actually, like instead of us just picking things for them, like what are they actually naturally good at? And we've done Penny and we've done Willow. And Storm, I feel like, really is an amazing little girl horse, a beginner horse. He's awesome at that. So today, we're going to go from our smallest little horse to our biggest horse, Chino. And we're going to see, try him with something and see if he has a natural talent for it. Everything he sees. I think, okay. He's not so, storming. He just likes chewing stuff. And yeah. So this is Chino. Why do you have stuff on your nose? What is that? He has stuff on his back as well. What is that? Chino, let us see your nose. Oh, it's just... Furs? No. Okay, so this is Chino, Cappuccino Minute. He is Gabby's show horse, and he has just gotten his shoes off and is nursing his little footsies until they feel better. They're a little sensitive <laughs> that. now that he got his shoes off. And one thing about Chino is... That so we thought about what Chino's good at, and the things that he's very like into are he's very like he loves to hold things in his mouth, he loves to chew things with his mouth, and he loves to bob his head up and down all the time. He likes to zip up my coat and it. Right? Yeah. So thought long and hard about what could those skills do for Chino. No, just joking. <laughs> Somebody, a really good friend of mine, sent me. A picture of another horse that's sort of similar to Chino and she said you need to do this with Chino so she showed us what this other horse can do and
and we decided we're gonna try and see if Chino likes it. Try and get your bath sitting on shavings. Yeah, because shavings. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Let me try. It was oh, seems so easy. simple. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna lift up my feet. See All, right. <laughs> All right, so Gabby, what are we doing with your horse today? Stop, I did it. Oh, wait, Gabby. Wait, wait. Sophia! All right, this is the new thing. This is the new no, thing. stop, she's annoying. All right, put your little feet up, Gabby. Wahoo! She always has good balance though. All right. <laughs> no, have you seen me? Try to stand. Let's see. <laughs> and walk and climb stairs. <laughs> Actually, none of my kids are overly stop, stop. clumsy. <laughs> so, well, Gabby gets everything ready so that we can show you what we're going to do with Chino today. I wanted to tell you guys um, that I showed a video a couple days ago of Sophie who's suffering from confidence issues again. It's been a really long time, I feel like. It's been. Like she's been a long time with no confidence issues and then all of a sudden she got confidence issues and I think it's growing pains. I think it's just like her growing and changing and when you're growing at a really fast rate and your body is changing so much like you do when you're 13, then um, it can make you feel unsettled and unsure and it can just change things. So much change. So in the last lesson that she, we showed you guys that she was having a confidence knock and Somebody sent me this really amazing message and she said that she grew up exactly Sophie, that she had this older sister who uh, was fearless and that she always uh, had times where she had confidence knocks and her whole message was just so kind and so positive and I read it to Sophie and I wanted to say, what a fabulous world that we live in that we can share our fears and our, and our less than perfect moments and other people reach out and 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 say that they understand and that they've been there and they can relate it just makes you always feel like you're not alone and in a world where only perfection is valued i think it's even more important and more amazing that people have been reaching out to me and saying these kind things about sophie sophie will get through it she always does some people have confidence knocks actually i don't believe that i believe everybody has confident knocks but it's just on how you handle it. Sophie willingly admits okay. that she's okay. struggling, whereas like a lot of other people feel don't like to show emotion and they kind of have like a more no. tough exterior and they never admit to it. <laughs> but I think most people do when you're dealing with like horseback riding or when you're dealing with sports like horseback riding, race car driving, you know, the things that could kill you. Well, hello, slowpoke. <laughs> Whoa, yeah, see that one shoe that just came off. She just took off. Well, actually, what shoe was the last one off? Uh, front left. Front left. Oh, it's the front right that looks sore to me. So, please don't be scared of it. Wow. No, throw it on. What do you think, Chino? Do you feel like painting? Oh my gosh, I think he can do it. I think he's gonna be able to do it. For an edge so you can bite it. Don't bite it. Yeah. So uh, basically we decided to see if Chino Bambino wants to channel his inner artist. Maybe Chino can use the skills that he has. Here you hold that. I got this. Maybe Chino can use the skills that he has. Pick a color. I think he picked red. <laughs> orange. He's orange. Grab orange. It. It's Halloween, he says. No, the orange. <laughs> you know, it'd be it. awesome if you could like paint your horse's nose and then let them. You can. Well, like okay. then put the paint on his nose and then let yeah, him. You can. Now I want to go to the People store and get stuff before. for Willow. Okay. Paint well, on her foot. Uh, make her step on it. Soon we're gonna do like a makeover for for Willow and yeah. make her beautiful. I want to shave her this summer. Next summer? Yeah, next summer. He will push you. Yeah, I know that. See, I this horse gets so bored. He just gets Here. bored standing around. He always has to have something in his mouth. He, the last time I left him in here, he found that chair over there and dragged it out into the middle of the arena. He likes to move his head all around. He's very tactile with his nose, like you guys just saw. And so we're gonna see if those skills will turn a Chino Bambino into an artist. And if it doesn't, we have dogs. <laughs> And other horses that maybe will be interested in it. Willow probably. Would. And 
Yep, that's good. All right, here we go. Here we go. He's going to eat I don't know. like it if you give it to him. You hold this. There you go. Give it to him. Give it to him. There, 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 there. <laughs> His first mark. He <laughs> well, I mean, he doesn't know. I mean, every time you're a beginner, Maybe you're learning. You be Put it closer to him so that when he... You don't want you I said we paint his nose. Is it up higher? Yeah, that would work better. He's like, no. <laughs> Stinks, he says. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. Until he eats it. <laughs> okay. You know what you should do? He's right there. I'm painting. He, he, okay. So oh, that is gorgeous. He did that. If you guys can see, no, there's a no, jack o' lantern. No, <laughs> You did that. That is a jack-o'-lantern. Okay, so what I think. No, it looks like a cat. It does kind of look like a cat. Yeah, an orange yeah, cat. Do you miss our cat? Okay. He's I'm not Ollie. <laughs> okay, He's listen. Ollie. What if we let him choose the colors and you put blobs all over the board? Oh, just opening random colors and just put blobs? Yeah, put blobs everywhere on here and then we'll let him paint because he clearly has. A, a gift. He clearly has a skill. Of being a true galaxy and chewing everything that he sees. He's like, that's my painting. I'm not finished. Let him look at it so he can get inspiration. What do you think next, you know? What do you think next? I'm not even looking at painting. We decided to try something different. We're going to put... I think the other way was better. We're going to put blobs of color. Te technically, she should let him choose what color. But we're going to put blobs of color everywhere. And then let him... He was mad. He's trying to chew my arm. Paint it. This is abstract art. By Gabby. By Chino. By me, too. <laughs> it's a Gabby and Chino. All right, do yellow and then we'll be done. Oh, I don't or red. Yellow. I have okay. red and purple. All right, red and purple. All right, you guys. I know you're ready to see his magical creation. Look, he's there ready. He's like, let's do it. Please don't get paint on. All right. Oh, look, he wants it. It's too strong for me. Okay. This is it. It's too strong. All right. I like purple. Okay. <laughs> I like purple. All right, Chino. This is his first time, mm -hmm. you guys. Here, Gabby, Every Nobody so doing something for the first I time is, Here, is, I I hope this. is skilled. All right. Here, Chino. Here, Chino. Stick it in his nose first. Get a good grip on it. He doesn't like the feeling of it. Yeah, I wouldn't either. <gasps> Look at how cute that looks! Oh no! Here, wipe it off. That's cute. If he really gets into this, we will set up an easel for him so that it'll be easier. You got it. Sophia. Yeah. He stuck oh, he, he used his nose. <laughs> I think he should just uh -oh. his nose. No, you gotta flip it the other way. Flip it the other way. There you go. Oh, oh look at that. Gorgeous. He wants the brush. He's asking for the brush. Yeah. <laughs> He's painting Gabby now. What is happening, he says. I mean, every artist gets a little dirty. Oh. Wow. You know. Maybe he's done. We should let Molly paint it. Well, we should get some canvases and let our dogs paint our dog's feet and then let them walk all over it. She don't make the stalls look small. <laughs> oh, he got red paint on his nose. <laughs> he did that. <laughs> he did that. I got blue paint on this stall. Oh. He's like, you guys are crazy. No, he painted. Yeah. Molly, don't eat grass. You're getting throw up. Root, Molly. There you go. It's gonna drop it. There he goes. 
There it goes. Oh. <laughs> it's like, this is so weird. If you gave him a treat, he would probably do it. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I said. There we go. Oh. Give it a moment. All right, we've, he's officially finished his painting. Do you know, he just pushed I him. paint all of my back. <laughs> Well, at least they're fall colors. No, it's blue and right, red. Right there. Oh, we can barely see it. Now I have to grab paint and make orange. Don't you know that you're beautiful?